Next up, we reveal on how you can keep your home safe from the mosquitoes and it's back to basics where you can consider natural remedies as an alternative. Stay tuned to Bella Weekend. Welcome back to Bella Weekend. Now we're talking about the outbreak of dengue and we um, spoke to a doctor earlier and said, you know, what could be done, what can't be done and what you should do if you think that you may have the symptoms of an upcoming dengue fever. Now besides, uh, as we heard, there's no proper medication for it um, except to just hydrate yourself. So we always turn to, you know, as Malaysians, as Asians, we turn to natural remedies and this has proven to work. So we'd like to say um, a very good morning to Vincent Yong, who's a hair and beauty product consultant. Now, Vincent, you've Hello. got you've brought your whole garden here. Yes. Tell it's me. A, it's actually very easy to actually plant some plants and put some essential oil or even incense to your house to okay. prevent the mosquito. You can start with this simple. No, this is uh, Citronella Java. Uh -huh which is not the serai wangi. Okay, because okay. I was just about to say it looks like serai. Uh -huh. This is the serai wangi. Okay. Okay, serai wangi is what? Wherever we... Uh, is yellow colour. Mm -hmm. It's yellow in colour. And this is uh, red King. in colour. Okay. Pink in colour. And it cannot be eat. It's only for insect repellent. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. okay. You can smell that. The oil is here. So what you've done is you've bottled them all up. Yes, yes. And made yes. it easier for consumers like yes. us. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can also plant them to prevent the mosquito to come to your house because they got sense to splitting around. So it's actually every plant, they have their own sense mm -hmm. to scare away the mosquito. To okay. prevent the and mosquito. And these plants, yes. um, where do you get them from? Is it easily accessible yes. anywhere? Yes, anywhere in Malaysia. Mm. Actually, it's very common. Uh, you can see this tea tree. This is golden tea tree. Okay. Uh, which is uh, major insects are dislike them. Oh. And they smell very nice. It smell like strawberry. Yeah, it's great. Tea tree oil. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everyone knows tea tree oil. This is golden tea tree. It's different from the tea tree. This is tea tree from Thailand. Okay. It smells differently. Okay. Mm, this is uh, the this tea tree is, oil. Uh, this right? is a very strong tea tree, but well, uh, it's helped my sinus yes, disappear as well. It's very, very strong, and a lot uh, of properties in no it. No insects actually dead to near them. Okay, that's uh, planting <laughs> that forms so a tea tree. Okay, all right. Tea tree is a good uh, choice, but uh, tea tree is quite big. It will about uh, the bigger tree is about ten to fifteen feet. <laughs> I see. Okay. But if this, you go to any mm, like um, uh, shops uh, and I think plants, Malaysia right it? now we are actually uh, because this is transplanted from uh, Thailand. I see. Okay, Malaysia actually don't but commonly you have, have. Do yes, you have, I have your the, own garden? Yes, yeah, we have our own uh, uh, nursery and our own planters. Okay, better okay. give me an address after okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is eucalyptus. Okay. Uh, many people doesn't know eucalyptus is kayu puteh. Oh, okay. It's everywhere oh, so nice. in the uh, uh, Kuantan area, mm -hmm. uh, Kelantan area. Uh, a lot of them in the jungle. Oh, wonderful! Uh, actually, you can't grow it uh, in the in the city or your home. Oh, you can't. It's oh, very oh. tall tree. It's I about see. twenty-three feet to forty feet. Okay. 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 This is a uh, eucalyptus. Okay. And uh, this is the. Uh, great things. Okay, this is giant dill, and it called wormwood also. This one dill, no like in D I L. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. D I L L. Oh, okay. And this one well, can the only easily... dill I know is we, yes. the one we cook in our food. This one is also cookable. Okay. It's Malaysia version because uh, the Indian version is shorter. Sure. This one is very big, taller than me. Okay. okay. But this one is very simple to plant, and mm -hmm. you can just cut it, 
and chop it to the, uh, just insert it to the soil. Okay. They will grow. Okay. And this is very easy to take care. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, and then uh, we have in Malaysia, this is a uh, green wood. Mm -hmm. And all this is sold at your nursery? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually not selling it. I'm actually... Uh, to, to make your yeah, products? Yeah, make my oils, okay, yes. Okay, cool. uh, because our oil is all cold pressing So that the means, nature that means if those who don't have like green fingers, who, yes. who are not big gardeners, yes. this is the easier alternative. Yes, la. correct. Okay, uh, okay, understand. If you are green fingers, then you can plant, okay? The easier uh, tree to plant, I think, is this one. Okay. Okay, this is green wood. Sure. And it's very valuable. When you mm. grow big, <laughs> the green wood oh. is very expensive in the world. I shall it's remember even, that. It's even uh, more expensive than aga wood, their value. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. this is rue. Mm -hmm. This is a very strong insect repellent. Okay, Ooh. this coverage so 500 this is, square feet. This is what we need in our homes to keep the mosquitoes away, uh, okay. right? Okay, but this is poison. Okay. okay, normally we will plant it in between the plant to prevent the insects to come to eat other plants. Okay. So this is actually using when you have a big garden. Sure. Okay, but this one is not uh, touchable for children. So what if our pets and animals were to accidentally touch? Uh, uh, no, no problem. Oh, okay. But it's only children and pregnant women <gasps> are forbidden. Okay. Stay away from me then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is time. So, okay. Yeah, okay. It's a uh, very simple grow. It doesn't need a lot of sunlight. So these are all repellents? Yes, this is all repellent. Okay. It depends on their square foot and coverage. So you've got geraniums. Yes. You know, we o I only hear yeah. of these names when I buy my creams or my okay. oils. And now I'm actually seeing yes. what the plant this looks like. This is the lemon geranium. Okay. Okay, this rosemary. is uh, rosemary. Yeah. Uh, this is lavender. And of course, the wonderful lavender. Yes. Can I just yeah. take a... You just take oh. it. It's very nice. I know, I love the smell of lavender. Yeah. It really calms me down. In Malaysia, we grow the lavender. Even the leaf and the flower are stronger because oh. the soil is rich. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. okay. And you can even grow uh, bunga jenanga. Mm -hmm. This is ilang ilang. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. okay. You can also, if you flower lover, you can grow this ah, kesidang. Bunga kesidang. It smells like pandan. Yeah, it smells like pandan. Very lemak. Uh, it's like yeah. nasi lemak. <laughs> Actually, uh, Malay name, uh, there is a lot of name. They call kerat nasi also. I see. Uh, and this is very beautiful tree. Okay, so Vincent, what you've done is, right, mm. you've obviously, with your expertise, mm. you have um, taken these plants and you've bottled them up into oils. Yes, correct. So what do we do with these oils? Is it meant for skin or is it meant to put in a burner like this? or? Um, and what is the best for mosquito repellents, okay. which also smells nice? Yeah, okay. You can actually uh, do it as a burner. Uh, very easy to actually burn it. Okay. okay, put some water and put some oil in. Mm -hmm. So it's very simple. Just put some water. Okay. Okay, so and what are put you? some geranium. So which, okay. which, are the, um, which are the ones... Actually, all I show you is going to be insect repellent. Oh. Actually, insect, they don't like nice scents. I see. When the insect bite you, you know you must clean yourself. <laughs> uh, just like a mosquito don't bite you when your uh, uh, blood temperature is cold. Correct. Yeah, so they will actually bite you when you are heat up or you are not mm. enough sleep. So, oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yes. Because so of body you, you temperature. So you have mixed citronella yeah. and, and the geranium. Okay. And the citronella, you can also put it on your body as yeah, well? Yeah, no problem. Like, wait, what do you do with them? Where, where do okay. you put it? How do, you yeah. can actually uh, put it into sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, to become a sugar scrub. Ah, okay. Ah, so you okay, can actually look. you can actually pour it very easily. Pour it to the white sugar. Okay. Okay, to make sure it's a nice sugar scrub. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can pour some and make some others like uh, geranium. Okay, but how do we know what goes with what? What if like we mix it all up and then it smells no problem. funny? Oh, really? No problem. No you problem. Mean you can mix it like, all up. Yes, so it's yes, like... yes. Actually, inside, they're scared of all this 